Two of the following videos are true, while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Round one, let's begin. If you take some dry ice and stick a roughly room temperature coin on the dry ice, it will at first squeak, and then once it's deep enough that it can stay on its own, you can let go of the coin and the sublimation will cause the coin to move back and forth. If you take two different colored pencils and place one on top of the other, you can see that the red pencil is on top. However, if you take a thin piece of transparent plastic called a Luber's lens, the long strips of transparent bumps manipulate light passing through in such a way that when you look at the pencils like this through the lens, it now looks like the white pencils on top. By now you already know that citrus fruits like oranges or lemons contain enough flammable oil called limonene that when you squeeze it on an open flame, it can produce larger flames like this. You can take this demo up a notch if you buy orange juice with minimal additives, like this one that only has one ingredient, which is oranges. Fill up a tiny atomizer or a spray bottle with this orange juice and when sprayed, those flammable oils have a larger surface area and ignite much more easily on an open flame, making this orange juice spray quite dangerous. This demo shows exactly why the phrase you can't put out a wildfire with orange juice became so popular. You've now seen all three videos and it's time to pause to vote in the comments for which one you thought was fake. All right, time for the reveal. This thin piece of plastic is called a Luber's lens and does work like this. And here it is with more colored pencils where it's still difficult to tell which colored pencil is actually on top as I orient the lens to go along the direction of each colored pencil. If I cut a cross section of the lens, you can see the bumps much more clearly under a microscope and here's what that looks like. Using a laser pointer, you can see how light is scattered due to those strips of bumps and the light actually scatters the opposite way that the bumps are laid out. So if something is skinny but perpendicular to this scattering, it just makes it difficult to see. However, if the skinny object is parallel to the scattering and a solid color, it basically looks unchanged. With words written on the pencil though, this scattering is obvious even when it's parallel. It's also true that a coin will flutter back and forth when placed vertically in some dry ice. And here's what it sounds like if I don't mute the audio. Although peels of citrus fruits do contain limonene and can be squeezed on flames like this, orange juice is primarily water and just extinguishes the flame. I actually purchased limonene concentrate, which is the same flammable oil in the peel of oranges and filled up the bottle with that. I even had to spray this pretty lightly to produce semi-believable flames because this stuff is actually way more flammable than it appeared in the first clip. 